What's with it? What's popping you too? Welcome back to another episode of D or D with me, your girl D. If you haven't already, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below more videos you would like me to do for you today or any other day. You already know about today's title, what today's video is gonna be. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. Y'all, like I said in my previous story time about this, this is my army experience. I can't speak for Joe, Jane, John, or Jim. This is my experience. And this today's video is going to be on the white phase. So if you haven't watched my video about the red phase, you might want to go watch that one before watching this one. And I'm also going to do the very last phase, which is the blue phase. So let's just get into the story. So the white phase, the drill sergeants are more lenient. Lenient. Um, they're a little more friendly. Like I said, I could already tell because first of all, if you so mean, you wouldn't have to practice a shark attack. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know what a shark attack is, go watch my first video because I'm not really going to be explaining it. But a shark attack is basically like... When you first come, they're doing all that yelling, buzz it, buzz it in your ear, just just trying to scare you, whatever. But the white phase, after it's two weeks after the red phase. So once you once you transition into the white phase, you're basically gonna do a lot more um team building exercises. And this is the phase where you get your your shooting title i don't want to say title but i mean that's kind of what it is and you do a lot more work marches so it's basically a work march is basically like you got like heavy stuff on your it's a backpack where you got like a lot of camping stuff in your backpack and you literally walk walk for miles i'm telling y'all miles now some of the battalions that's what i was really confused about because some of the battalions they was they had they caught buses oklahoma fort seal our ass had to walk like and this is where my problems with my knees and my legs started to come in because we would run i say two miles so you get placed so what i failed to mention in the first video you get placed based upon your first pft apft you get placed in these groups so it's a b c d a being the fastest d being the slowest so i was in c so, you know, every morning you get up at four, you do your exercises with the whole battalion and your platoons, of course. And then, you know what I'm saying, they place you. So we was running or whatever. We was running. And I don't know, y'all. I'm I'm gonna get to my knees part. So during the white phase, like I said, the drill sergeants are more lenient, but you still, you know, wake up every morning at four AM, do your little exercises, you know what I'm saying, get ready for first. Uh, formation, all that. Oh, yeah. Same, same, same. I'm really sleepy. So, you still do all of those things. But this is the time where either you catch the bus to the shooting range or you walk. Bitch, we walked to the shooting. I'm telling we walked everywhere. It was not a time where we caught the bus. We walked everywhere with. She, like, we had, like, the little weighted vest on. We had OCPs on. We had a backpack on. And, like, Camelback. Over a 100 pounds. Or, I'll say 75. 75 pounds on your back walking for hours. For hours, bruh. Disclaimer. To me, in the Army, you're nothing but a number. And I'm going to get to that part. And towards the end of this video, but I'm just letting y'all know in the army, you're nothing but a number. That's why I don't even. Anywho, so when we get there, so they have you, they, they lecture you about how, what the stands mean. You know, when you get ready to shoot, it's first position, second position, or whatever, prone position, all that. They teach you all that. But my thing is, we on high ass blazing concrete in the hot ass 100 degree dry ass Oklahoma weather. In Oklahoma, it was up to 100 degrees, y'all. OCPs this long. We had a watch on. The uh, the hat, the long you know, OCP uniforms and the boots and the long socks and your boots had to be tied all the way up to the top. 
with the heat with the with the weighted vest and the camelback and the the the, the backpack and 75 degree weather bro well no 100 degree weather 75 pounds on your back Fort Seal and it was I think it was inf infantry off I think it was in, whatever on the front line you know when people go out to fight the front line people when they be shooting I think it's called infantry Oh no, but they said that that's the hardest one for women because you know it's all that heavy shit. So this was so hard if you don't have glasses, y'all, because I cannot see. Like, and then they had different targets. So they had one like close kind of close to you, one further back, and then another one further back. But me, I didn't have no glasses on. So, I, to be honest, I really couldn't see. But I'm glad that I got, like, sharpshooter. But that's still, like, no. I had, you know how many times? And then we went, like, every, I'll say every day for two weeks. I missed all of them for six days. No. Through the weekends, we had, like, a little chill time. So... Actually, we only had Sunday for chill time. We work Monday through Saturday. So, I say I missed at least three times at the week. That last that last time, I got it. Finally got I was so happy because I was tired of doing them positions, bro. And I think that was, that was what made my knees so bad. Because I was constantly trying to get i'm gonna try to do a picture or something of how we use how we have to sit and all that bro when i tell y'all that is the worst position but i mean you have to do it but like it was just like and then we have to sit our camel bags on the ground in the hot ass weather that was some hot ass water but we still have to drink it because water is water right you know what i'm saying and so, so they have these rules. You can't take, you you know, they give you, they teach you how to clean your gun, how to, you know what I'm saying, load your gun, how to unload your gun, all that. But once you got on the thing, you, they didn't even want to take, they didn't want to see a bullet, nowhere in your stuff. So one of the, this, how, let me tell you how Tyson wanted the drill sergeants work. The drill sergeants planted, I literally seen it with my own eyes, the drill sergeant planted a bullet in one of the trainees camelbacks. And once they were searching the camelback, they found one and they had to take him all the way back to Red Face. We was like in the first, like the, towards the end of the first week of White Face, finna go to Blue Face. And they took him all the way back to Red Face. Like, and they moved him to a different battalion. Like that was just trifling. First of all, why would, that shit was just childish. And on my battalion, y'all, I'm telling y'all, it's so many people. <sighs> So many of them drill sergeants play favoritism to the people who was, like, doing what they wanted. You know what I'm saying? You know how they be. They show favoritism and shit. They show favoritism. Um, huh. They show favoritism. They was being freaky with the trainee. Like, it was just too much on Fort Seal, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, like, that was just trifling. And then on top of that. Let me see what else we did. It wasn't really nothing. We were just going back and forth to the shooting range. And it was just so freaking hot, y'all. Like, and we did these, like, let me tell you how dumb boys are. So, we went to this obstacle course thing, right? And we had to, like, bear crawl through, like, mud and sand and all that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to, like, show a video of it kind of here or over here i don't know how that's gonna work yet but i'm gonna try to show y'all we have to bear crawl through the mud get on monkey bars and let me tell you i have never done monkey bars a day in my life but something made me get up on the monkey bars and i'm telling y'all because first of all just started said if you don't get across the monkey bars you're gonna give me 150 push-ups and y'all know in red phase video we don't just do one two no it's one two three one so i wasn't gonna do that so i got up on the monkey bars and i monkeyed my way across them bars because i wasn't gonna do that what and then let me tell you how stupid boys are so they gave us two pieces of wood a rope and something else to get we have to get across from here to there 
but we only had like two little step stools. So we had to figure out how to get from here to over there. The girl's trying to come up with a way, you know what I'm saying? Using a brain like God gave us a brain to use. But the boys sitting up here messing up. And we only had 10 minutes, y'all. 10 minutes to do this assignment, but the boys kept messing up. So, boom. We tried to think one of the girls tried to do it. He was like, nah, y'all sit over there and let us do it. Tell me why they kept messing up. And guess what we had to do? Fucking push-ups. Because the niggas are stupid. I'm telling y'all, boys don't use y'all brain. Use the brain that was given to you, okay? So, boom. Girls do it. Bam, we finally got across. Y'all. And then one thing about white phase, you go to the decaf, which is like another thing for a cafeteria. The decaf food, so bussing, but it's better than the MREs. We used to eat MREs, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, baby. Sometimes we'll go to the cab, I mean to the decaf, but in that time, it's MREs. And then you have to be lucky with them MREs. The, um, what is it called? I think it's shrimp fettuccine. Something fetter, something fettuccine. I'm going to try to sort on her too. Something fettuccine. That shit nasty. But the decaf, that shit bust. I'm telling you, that's going to be the best thing about the freaking, about the best return of the decaf. And then on Sundays, you get to go to the decaf and you get to take however long you want to go. I mean, you get to take however long you want. During the week, you got to eat. Like you got to chunk this down. Like you only got five minutes, if that, to eat, y'all. I'm telling you. So, I mean, it's just like, and then you want, you have to get up as one. So, you know what I'm saying? You have to hurry up and eat. Hurry up and eat your food. It was to the point where I was almost throwing up how fast I was eating. Like, it's not even funny. Like, when I eat too fast, I throw up, literally, because I'm eating too fast. But, you know, you get accustomed to it. But me, my digestive system was not having it. Was not having it, y'all. But, anyways, so, like I said, like I said in the red phase, at the end of every, every at the end of every phase, you have a test. You have APFT, and you have a written test. So at the white phase, like I said, you learn how to do the tourniquets. You learn how to do like the stuff, like battlefield type things. You know what I'm saying? Help people out. You know what I'm saying? Drag it. Like we had these obstacle courses where we was pretending like we was in war. Somebody got shot. Bow, bow, bow. We have to hurry up, go grab them out though. You know war zone and still somebody got to cover you so you can get there you know what i'm saying and then put the tourniquet on and boom you know what i'm saying well, like we had obstacle courses like that those were fun like actually going out and doing the obstacle courses those i found was fun but sitting there and watching drill sergeant do what they did and be trifling that's not something that i wanted to be in. you know what i'm saying we're not a team like i said in the army you're just a number. And if you can't perform how they want you to perform, then you're just a nobody. Prime example, one time at night, it was at night, my knees were the size of a freaking cantaloupe, y'all. I'm not, my knees were so swollen. And I remember running, and I was telling my Jewish son that my knees hurt, my knees hurt. One other girl, just like me, she was telling her her knees hurt, and her knees were swollen up too. She ended up fracturing her kneecap literally like she had to have surgery down there for real and i was suddenly just saw the same thing they kept telling me keep going keep going keep going so that's another reason why my legs is you know all messed up i went to the doctors down there they couldn't find out what was wrong with me so one night uh i think the commander in chief or something like that came on the battalion and so the alarm went off we had to go downstairs but i could not get i couldn't even get out of my bed y'all and I stayed on the top bunk. I couldn't even get out. I'm sitting here telling the drill sergeant, like, drill sergeant, I cannot walk. He was like, he literally told me word for word to suck it up and get downstairs. What? Like, what? Like, that's what I'm saying. They don't care if you're hurt. Like, they're just going to tell you that regardless. So, like I said, in result of that, my legs got worse. Went down there. Boom. Went to the doctor, couldn't find out wrong with me, did several MRIs. Could nobody tell me what was wrong with me or nothing. Then the battalion will not release my medical information so that I can get help from the VA. Y'all, I done had two surgeries, had to learn how to walk all over again. I'm going to tell y'all that in the next video about the blue phase. But like I said, I did not, and then I didn't graduate. You know, things happened, whatever. It just wasn't for me. And, you know, not 
my mom, she supported me, you know, and all that. Sending me these little inspiration note, little things with my grandma. I will never forget the day. She sent me a note and told me I was not trying hard enough. That she felt like I was not trying hard enough. Like, that's exactly what she told me. And I sent that letter to my mama and showed her because why would you say that? I'm sitting over here trying my hardest to graduate, to get to the next phase, to pass my APFT, to pass my test. But you're going to say to me, I wasn't trying. And then the bad thing about it is I was passing my written test. I was passing my APFT by this much, though. Because, you know, like I said, my legs was messed up. So I was trying the best I could to push through it. But... Physically, I could not do I couldn't do it. I could not do it. And for her to sit there and tell me that, it was just like, are you really my family? Or are you really just trying to tell, you know, have bragging rights? You know what I'm saying? But you know what? It is what it is, y'all. I cannot wait to tell y'all in the blue phase. But like I said, the army, they don't really care. You're just a number. And if you can't do what they need you to do, they don't care about you. They don't care about your well-being. And it's just so sad. Well, okay, I'm going to speak for the whole thing as a whole. But in Fort Seal, Oklahoma, the battalion I was in, they don't care about you. You're just a number. Just a number. But, I mean, if y'all got questions, feel free to ask me. My Instagram, try to put my Instagram down here, my Facebook, my Snapchat, all that. If y'all have questions, feel free to ask me. I do not bite, so don't be acting like y'all scared. I will answer them in the next video. But that's all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. I'm on a road to 300 subscribers. I got 290. I need 10 more. 10 more. 10 more subscribers. And, you know, I got to celebrate every moment, every 100 I get. Because, y'all, I'm trying to get big. You feel me? But, you know what? Without further ado, bye.